Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and this is your weekly hardware news recap for the last week. And that was obviously Christmas week, so not a ton of news going on, but definitely some worthy items. And the first of which is the AMD Gemini GPU. So this has been known about since E3 2015, I think, that'd be earlier this year, where AMD has been producing a Gemini GPU, they've called it, that's their code name. It is basically a Fury X2. It's two Fury X FIG GPUs on a single card, kind of like the 295X2 and similar devices put out previously. And the two GPU FIG chip, the Gemini, is now looking at a delay. So it was originally slated for a December launch this year. And obviously they've missed that window. So Lisa Su, the AMD CEO, has publicly stated that they are pushing back the Gemini launch to quarter two of 2016. And that is supposed to coincide better with VR headset launches, including the HTC or Valve Vive and the Oculus Rift headset. So that's their public reasoning for this. Now, other reasoning could include a better ability to meet demand for the Gemini card because AMD's Fury X GPU, the Fiji, has not had particularly good availability in the first few months of its existence and that has definitely hamstrung Andy's ability to ship the cards obviously and meet demand. So hopefully this will help meet demand for Gemini once it is actually available and their public reasoning again is just that it's going to coincide better with VR launches. Last week we briefly mentioned the Samsung versus Nvidia and Nvidia versus Samsung patent lawsuits. Both are ongoing and they're both about patents. So to quickly recap things here, NVIDIA went after Samsung for patent infringement. Samsung countersued NVIDIA for different patent infringement. And last week we reported on how NVIDIA has seen some attrition damage in this war where they've actually lost one of their patents. It was invalidated by the judge. And that patent was a little bit different. It was separate from the one that NVIDIA was pursuing Samsung over. So it was definitely some attrition there. And Samsung, meanwhile, just had a victory in their recent court case in the last week where NVIDIA was found guilty of infringing upon three Samsung patents. And we don't know the damages or if there will be a product delay or product ban or anything like that just yet, but they were found guilty of infringing on three Samsung patents, patents related to mobile devices. And that could include the Tegra GPUs for sure. Last week's news on Micron talked about their agreement to buy out the remaining shares of an Asian flash and DRAM manufacturer, which will allow Micron to buy those chips at cost and potentially reduce their overall sale or cost of goods. And this week's news is a bit different. It's the opposite end of the spectrum for Micron. They're actually looking at their first sales decline in over two years now, a revenue decline by quarter two of 2016. And Micron is predicting a loss of five to 12 cents per share for that quarter with their expected revenue at 2.9 to 3.2 billion, which again would mark the first loss in more than two years for Micron. The next news item is a quick one from Palmer Luckey's Twitter account, the CEO of Oculus VR. And he stated that Oculus Rift would begin shipping finally in quarter one of 2016, and also stated that pre-orders would begin in the new year. So just after New Year's Day, we should see pre-orders starting for Oculus Rift. Palmer also was quick to add that the pre-orders would not begin without warning. So they will post some kind of public official announcement before they actually just begin selling pre-orders for Oculus Rift. The next type of hard drive technology is set to arrive by 2018, which will allow much greater capacities looking towards the range of two terabytes per square inch on 2.5 inch platters, which is a significant improvement over the current cap of 1.5 terabytes per square inch. And that's not even necessarily being hit by some of the devices on market right now. The new technology is HAMR or heat assisted magnetic recording and uses lasers to allow higher densities, but also comes with its own complexities and downsides. Of course, this month, Showa Denko, a hard drive media producer, showed their roadmap, which includes HAMR in 2018. And Western Digital, in a separate study, was quick to note that they're expecting a continued growth of the hard drive media consumption in that segment with a move from 1,000 exabytes shipped in this year to 2,900 exabytes shipped by 2020. So that is actually 
a 97% growth in total volume shift in terms of capacity on hard drives, but obviously capacity is increasing as we move forward. So this all coincides with that. And HAMR is certainly something we'll be paying attention to more in the future and hopefully breaking down in some sort of in-depth video. So that is all for this week's hardware news recap. Check the links in the description below for more information or hit that Patreon link in the post-roll video if you want to support us. And thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.